Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And yesterday I did a video about clothing and some of the best brands that you can buy in 2020. Today, let's talk about some expensive items, some high dollar electronics, gadgets, gadgets, tech, that is really, really the high profit items. Now I'm gonna put a huge disclaimer out before I go any further in this video. One, I'm gonna put as many um, of the solds, you know, screenshots, pictures as I can. Every make, model, gigabyte, hard drive, spec on a tech or an electronics, uh, a model number, uh, a year, a style, it all changes the price. So while I may say X microphone is worth $100, there could be ones worth 150 to two uh, that are similar, or there could be ones worth 25 and $50. So always, always, always look up the exact comp and price and make sure you look up that exact model, style, color, color changes it sometimes, um, the gigabytes, the hard drive size, look up everything. The second disclaimer is when you buy and sell in this category, these high risk items, especially cell phones and tablets and laptops, uh, they are the most fraudulent and high risk items on any platform anywhere. Do your due diligence, do your research, learn, get bills of sale, get pictures of driver's license if you're buying off the street. Do everything that you have to do to prevent dealing in any kind of stolen merchandise, lost merchandise, fraudulent merchandise, blacklisted merchandise, especially with cell phones. You have to know what you're doing. It's super high risk or you will lose a lot of money. And almost everybody loses money learning the business. But when you can buy one item for 100 bucks and flip it for 250, that's a whole lot better than buying something for $5 and flipping it for 25, right? Same amount of work, quicker flip, faster sell through rates, bigger profits but with those bigger profits come bigger risks. So let's jump into um, 20 of the best, best high dollar, uh, high profit electronics and tech items to sell on eBay, Amazon, uh, and pretty much any other platform that you're allowed to sell them on. Okay, so got the list right here on my computer. And number one is everyone's favorite. I'm gonna start off with this. It's DVD VCR combos and people say, why? Why DVD VCR combos? Well, there's a couple reasons. There are some people that still love to watch DVDs, VCRs, they get the best of both worlds in one device. So there are still those people. Uh, there are people that use it for business purposes, for copying things from VCRs or VHSs over to DVDs and so forth. So that is another uh, potential client or customer for those DVD VCR combos. Most of them are worth anywhere from 30 or 40 to 50 bucks on up to the 80, 100, up to 125 range. There are some expensive ones that can be worth 150 on up to two, three, four hundred dollars. If you stumble across one that's brand new, make sure that you definitely do some investigating on them. I've seen some brand new ones sell for 500 to a thousand dollars. There are certain models that do that. There's some that are worthless. Again, look them up. That's number one. Number two, camcorders. Handheld digital recorders, those Sony Handycams. Uh, I'll put some pictures. Some of the newer ones, uh, I actually own one personally. It's a little small one. I used to use it walking around when I started. Um, probably worth about 30, 40 bucks now, maybe 50 bucks. Some of the higher dollar ones can be a couple hundred dollars. Uh, and there are some vintage ones that are worth hundreds of dollars. Something you might see like Danny Tanner carrying around um, in family or whatever and uh, that show and full house that he would carry around with the family recording them so check all those out those sony handy cams and 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 video recorders those vintage things people collect those and a lot of people really love them um okay routers and modems so the routers and modems that you would see in your house the one providing the internet right now to upload this video uh typically from the cable companies one you can't really sell some of them and two they're not worth a ton of money some of them maybe if you're allowed to sell them the ones i'm talking about are the ones you see at best buy or at walmart um, that are gaming routers gaming modems you may see them for 150 200 250 dollars they have multiple antennas on them i own one um and uh, they're expensive to buy and you can sell those for 50, 100, $150 in the used market. So definitely keep an eye out for routers and some of the modems. If you see bigger ones with lots of ethernet plugs in the back, Cisco uh, and Lucent are two to keep an eye out for. Those two brands, definitely worth money. Video game consoles, handhelds, all those sort of things. We all know this kind of goes self-explanatory without uh, having to de uh, dive into this too deep is that Nintendo Switches, PlayStation 4s, Xbox Ones, they're all worth money. We know they're worth money and they're quick flips. The, the trick is getting them for the right price because most everybody knows what they're worth or at least has an idea. Uh, warning, there is a new PlayStation 5 coming out supposedly by the end of the year. So keep an eye on those PS4 prices. Everyone and their brother is going to be selling a PS4 or just trying to get PS5s and not be interested in the 4. Okay, GoPro cameras, the action cameras, they're now on model 8. 
I own the Model uh, 3 and the Model 7. So I bought a GoPro when they first came out, GoPro 1s, didn't even know about them. I heard about the GoPro 2s. That was my first experience with hearing about a GoPro, uh, you know, to eight, 10 years ago. And then uh, when the GoPro 3 came out, I bought it, I used it, it was great. I used it on my drone, uh, it was fantastic. And then I didn't get a new GoPro for several years. I finally bought the 7, which comes with the hyper smooth action camera as you run, it doesn't bounce up and down, it's just smooth. GoPro, worldwide known company, hundreds of millions of dollars, billion dollar company probably. And uh, their cameras sell really well, all the way from the one being worth 30, 40 bucks, on up to last year seven, which is the one that I have that's probably still worth 100, 150 bucks on the used market. Remember that these things sell for 400 to 500 brand new when they come out. Some of their lower models like 350 to four. So on the used market, the most you'll ever get for a used GoPro is probably in the 2250 range unless it just came out and you happen upon one. Um, most last years and beyond are gonna be 200 and less. So always keep that in mind when buying them. Some of them one, 125, 75, 110 always look up the model and also the color matters. So last year's black had the hyper smooth and the reds didn't, which made it more expensive than the others. GoPro cameras. Staying on that same line of thought, DSLR and uh, point and shoot cameras, things like uh, the G7X that I have that I use, things like uh, Kate's uh, very expensive camera, which I wanna show you guys a couple examples of these right now. Okay, so this is kind of one of the point and shoot DSLRs. You guys know I use this one, very popular vlogging uh, camera. YouTuber camera, G7X Canon, couple hundred bucks, used one, 150, 200 bucks. This was about five, 600 brand new. I bought it right after it came out for like four. Uh, they have a second model that's still like 600 to buy, sells for about 300 used. But these are point and shoots. They've got the flip up screens. You can turn them, you can do all that cool stuff. So they're very uh, workhorse type. There's the GoPro that I was just talking about. This is the GoPro 7, it's in the case. The handy cams, these are the ones you put like this. You have like flip out. You can turn, these are great for selfie mode as well because you can turn it like that and then you can see exactly what you're filming. You can flip it back, you can point, you can fold it, you can point and shoot like any way. So this one's probably, I mean, this one's old. Again, 8.9 megapixels, Sony uh, HD. This was a 1080 right when it came out. This is probably worth about 40 or 50 bucks. Um, again, my GoPro is probably worth about 150 on the used market. This one's probably worth about 150 or 200 on the used market. And then, um, so that's DSLR point and shoot cameras, which I just mentioned. This is Kate's backup. This is a Nikon D700. Um, this is the body only. You guys can see these are still worth hundreds of dollars, four or 500 bucks used. Um, and this is kind of like a backup camera body. And then the next one I'm going to tell you about is camera lenses that go on this. So this one's probably about, I don't know, 800 to a thousand bucks on the used market. These are as expensive as the cameras, if not more in some cases. Um, these, some of these lenses can be thousands and thousands of dollars. So especially brand new, if you find them used, you know, you could buy something like this for three, 400, 500 bucks off somebody just trying to get out of the business and flip it for 800 and make yourself some good money. So camera equipment, GoPros, DSLRs, lenses, especially Nikon, Canon, uh, Nikkor is okay. Um, Tamron, there's there's several other ones that are good. Uh, Sony, uh, GoPros, uh, you know, pretty much we stick to all of those brands. So those are all goods. All right, next is iPads and tablets. You guys know I use an iPad Pro to record a lot of stuff for you. They're very expensive. Obviously, they have good resale value. They're Apple. Be very careful. You have to make sure they're not lost or stolen. You have to make sure they're 100% clear of not just passwords, but also the Apple iCloud account. So not just that main screen, one, two, three, four password, but also the Apple iCloud has to be clear or you could be stuck with a paperweight. If you can't delete their iCloud out of it, you can't put yours in, which means you can't download apps, you can't sign in, you can't do any of that stuff. So be very careful with iPads. MacBooks and laptops, again, these things hold their value so well. This is a uh, 2017 model. Uh, I bought this right before eBay opened 20, 2018. So this was a December 2017. Um, sometime in the beginning of 2018, this came out in December and around like February or March, I was contemplating in a new computer, but I didn't really think about like actually getting it. I wanted the 17, it had just come out and I was like, uh, you know, maybe. And then my computer took a dump and I had to buy this new computer. So I bought this about probably May or June of 2018. Uh, so about two years ago. And I paid, this was brand new when it came out, it was right around 2200. 
I got it, you know, six, eight months after it came out for around, I think I paid 17 or 1800 for this one. Um, and it was, it was uh, still new in the box, but it was last year's model because the new model was getting ready to come out. Um, the late 18 one was coming out, 19. So I, I saved a little bit of money. This will be my workhorse for that amount of money. You know, I've had it for two years. I'll have this thing for three or four more years at least. I keep my max for five to six. I think I kept the last one was a 2011 or 2012. I kept it for six years. So um, basically they hold value. If I sold this right now, now remember I paid like 1700 bucks for it. If I sold this right now, I could easily get 12 to 1400, probably 13, 1400 bucks for it. Um, so if somebody was willing to sell theirs and you could get it for, you know, 800 bucks, 900 bucks, you can make $400 profit, less fees and shipping, still up 250. Again, same story on buying things like Macs and laptops. You have to make sure they're completely clear, they're wiped, the passwords are out. This thing has all of my life on it. This thing has, um, you know, keychain passwords. It has saved passwords. It has iCloud passwords. It has to be wiped. Also, if you're selling your stuff, make sure that you do wipe everything as well. So um, very, very important that you are careful with any of this Apple products and Samsung as well. Okay, DJ equipment and turntables. Uh, I'll put them up there in the pictures. Those things are a fortune. I never knew how much they were until I met some people that were DJs, got to know some people with some equipment, and man, they were spending a lot of money on the turntables, two, three, four, five hundred, a thousand dollars on some of these. Um, you know, some of the, uh, the mixers, some of the equalizers, all those things, very expensive. Do some searches one day on eBay uh, for DJ equipment, DJ tables, mixers, turntables, uh, equalizers. Uh, you know, even the, the auto tuners or the um, amplifiers that they use, all very, very expensive equipment. Speaking of amplifiers, car audio and car audio amplifiers. So both the amplifiers that go in the back of your car for sound systems and the decks, the, the head units and the flip up units, those are all hundreds of dollars as well. Something to keep an eye out for. Usually younger crowds or car crowds go for those, but you can pick those up locally and flip them for a pretty good profit. I used to do it way back in the day. I'd buy car audio amplifiers for 60, 70, 80 bucks and put them up for 125. And somebody would offer me like 110 and I'd sell it and make like 40, 50 bucks. I was selling like one or two of those a day, every single day. I was making like 60 to 80 bucks a day selling car audio amplifiers because they were so abundant and readily available. Literally, I could make at no less than fifteen hundred a month just selling car audio amplifiers. Some months I was making two and three grand. Okay, so uh, Apple watches, other smart watches, same warning as um, tablets, phones, anything like that with smart devices. Apple watches are uh, not cheap. They do resell. You have to be careful. You have to clear them, get them unsunk. This is sync with my phone, so you got to get them unhooked from everything before you buy them. Uh, this is an Apple Watch 5th edition, 44 millimeter. It's the big one um, with the band. So this probably cost me about 500 or 550 brand new. If I resold it right now, no idea what I could get. Maybe 250, 300. So if you can get one on a good deal from someone, these are a little harder to flip. Again, people know what they're worth. You'll have a better luck getting margins on things like this or, you know, something you could pick up. Maybe this was a hundred dollar one. You pick it up for 40 or 50. Um, you know, maybe this camera sells for 200. You could pick it up for 100, 110. Um, selling an Apple Watch that's probably worth 250 or 300, nobody's gonna sell it to you for 150 um, unless they just don't know what they have or they just don't care, which is rare. Uh, and if they don't, <laughs> be sure it's not stolen. Okay, so uh, smart watches, Apple Watches. Uh, cell phones, obviously, I'm recording on one right now with you guys. It's obvious that they sell for a lot of money. They're expensive. Everyone needs them. Everyone breaks them. You can buy broken ones and flip them because there are other people in the industry who will repair them. They'll buy them from you. Uh, again, clear iClouds, clear passwords, clear everything, fully reset, no outstanding bills from the company. You have to call this in. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't do it or learn what you're doing. Learn from someone that knows what they're doing. Okay, microphones, the ones I use in my uh, videos. Um, they're not super expensive, but some of them can run into the several hundred dollars, three, four, five hundred, and you can flip those for a little bit of profit as well. Uh, my Blue Yeti was about one, 120 brand new, still worth about 70, 80 bucks on the used market. Maybe somebody sold it to you for 25, 30 bucks. You can flip it, but there are some microphones that, like I said, are worth uh, brand new, three, 400. They sell for 200 used. You buy it for 100, 110. Boom, you made yourself about 50 bucks flipping it. Okay, um, headphones, gaming headphones, Turtle Beach, Razors, Logitechs, any of the audio phonics ones, any of those headphones, the professional ones, um, you know, most of them are in the mid hundreds. The wireless set that I have, I paid 125 for. 
they're probably still worth 60, 70, 80 bucks. So if you can get a deal on them, um, flip them, make a few dollars. Otherwise, again, you can sell uh, some of the higher end ones that are two, 300 bucks, try to get them for 50, 60, 70 dollars, flip them for 110, 120. Uh, most of these sales I'm talking to you about are gonna be things that are at least 50 to 100 dollars. If not, they're gonna be 100 plus. And that's really what we're targeting. Um, because if you're selling stuff for 50 bucks, you can probably, or 60 bucks, guess that you're making 25, 30 profit. You're not having an average sale price of 25, 30. You're profiting 25, 30. And that's our goal, right? Okay, older Apple iPods. Many people don't know what I'm talking about. iPad, iPod Classics, iPod Nanos, all worth great money. Most of them are at least 40 to 50 bucks on up to 100 to 150 for the classics with the uh, 120 gigs and 160 gig hard drives. Why? They have huge hard drives. Most of your newer age phones at the time when they started getting popular only had 64 gig hard drives. The iPod Touches didn't have a 160 gig hard drive and so people wanted that big hard drive. They didn't care what the iPod looked like as long as they had a big hard drive for music. Still to this day, they have good value. They have come down, but they're still good value. Check them out in the uh, pictures. Drones. Drones are expensive. $500, $700, $1,000. Now, there are some of the smaller new drones, like the DJI Mavic and the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air 1 and 2. Those are only three, four hundred, five hundred 500 brand new, so they're kind of tough to resell unless you get a smoking deal. But some of the more expensive drones can be worth a ton of money. Drone parts, drone batteries, drone blades. I've bought and sold all of them. I own one. They are not cheap, so keep that in mind. Bose Home Audio and Sound Audio. So sound bars, uh, subwoofers, speakers, the Bose Wave radios, check those things out. I'll try to put a picture of the Bose Wave, the sound, the ones that are like really small, they sit in the corner like over here and they can just project the sound out to the entire house. Super expensive, they're hundreds if not thousands of dollars brand new and their resale value holds. In fact, the remotes alone for those things are worth 20, 30 bucks in most cases. Um, home security, uh, we all know about the ring doorbells. They have good resale value, you know, even used. I think the brand new ones are between 150 and 200 and you can um, basically get them and flip them for like 75 to $100. So again, that 50 and on up price. Uh, also, uh, home security cameras can be expensive. The nice 4K, 1080 ones. Um, the motion sensor ones can be hundreds of dollars. The systems to record it, they're kind of like uh, DVR systems that come with those. Those whole system setups, like four cameras and a DVR system and a recording station, those can be like a thousand bucks, 500, 600, 800 dollars. So if you can pick up systems like that, there could be a chance to make some profit on it. All right, the last one, number 20, that I want to leave you guys with is vintage electronics. We're gonna talk about uh, a couple here, but there's so many different vintage uh, electronics, weather radios, uh, weather radar stations, there's reel-to-reel, -reel, those old you know, 40 millimeter, eight millimeter, all these type of old equipment that people tinker with and collect. The old 80s and 90s boom boxes that kids you know, carried around on their, their shoulders and you saw in the old rap videos, those things are worth a lot of money in some cases. I'll put some pictures again up here with some solds and uh, really look into it. They're great to find at flea markets, swap meets, uh, yard sale, garage sale, estate sales, I see them pop up. Old recorders and phonographs, old um, record players, all can be worth a lot of money. Just be very careful that they fully work. You know what you're doing with them. You know how to handle them and also be weary of the shipping, which can be a fortune if you don't know what you're doing. So all fantastic items, 20 electronics. Please proceed with caution. They're high risk, high reward, but they can take your sales from selling one item a day for 50 to 100 bucks. You can go two, three, four thousand dollars a month in sales just on these electronics and making all that profit of what you would do selling dozens of items a day in clothing. Not that there's anything wrong with clothing or shoes because you can't always find the electronics, but when you can, mix them in, get the store built up, and you will see that just one item a day sold in electronics will catch all those other sales. All right, appreciate you guys watching. As always, thank you so much for taking the time. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and like it. I appreciate it. If you don't, that's okay too because the engagement helps me out either way. Thank you. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'm gonna keep putting out videos like this to try to help everyone learn as many items and as many things as they can to sell. If you'd like to know more about my list of 750 uh, plus items on my 11 Bolo guides and lists, they're below, they're linked, they're all part of the package. It's one-time payment, $20.20. You'll get all the list, all the training videos, 150 of them, three webinars, VIP group, everything, uh, $20.20, just one time, and it's all yours. 
Link below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.